I came here one time uh, 11 years ago to go cave diving here at Blue Springs Park. It was so beautiful and the people of Jackson County were so friendly that I ended up selling all my properties and business and moved 3,000 miles away to, be, to live here. Uh, since then, I started a dive shop to try and make things more convenient for the cave divers that visit Jackson County, Florida. And when we come back, we're gonna take a closer look at Blue Springs and all the amenities it has to offer right here in Jackson County, Florida. Hi, I'm Ed Sorensen with Cave Adventures. We're here at Blue Springs Park in uh, Jackson County, Florida. Um, I'm here for the cave diving, and right over here we have a beautiful cave system uh, that the cave divers refer to as Jackson Blue. I moved here 11 years ago because I dove here once, and it was so fantastic, I stayed. Uh, later on, we're gonna show you a lot of the different things that Blue Springs Park has to offer. Uh, it's very family friendly. There's a playground for the kids, sand beach to uh, sunbathe in. There's a diving board, slides, um, lots of beautiful crystal clear drinking water to swim in. Uh, there's hiking and mountain biking trails uh, just off to our left in the woods. And, uh, you know, most of it's just the beautiful crystal clear water. Um, so um, the cave divers come here from all over the world. Last year we had cave divers from 28 different countries and all 50 states to, just to see the caves here on the mill pond. The mill pond is a man-made lake that is started by Blue Springs here. Um, it's four and a half miles long and this particular man-made lake has seven cave systems in it. So for the cave enthusiast, um, there's uh, months and months and months worth of diving, if not years worth of diving here. They're very beautiful, crystal clear, and unlike a lot of the springs here in Florida, they're not subject to rain, uh, raising the river levels and flooding them out. This is controlled by a dam, so they're diveable year round, 24 seven. So when I was brought here for the first time by a friend from Gainesville, I saw that the caves were spectacular. Uh, down there, to go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, you had a vast amount of driving. And here they have three beautiful caves um, that almost anybody can dive uh, within five minutes of each other. And the, the, the more I learned about it, the more I learned that the, people, the few people that were diving here that knew about it, it was a stop on their way from somewhere west to uh, High Springs, Gainesville, Lake City. And I thought, I, I moved here to retire, so really making money wasn't the, the, the objective. I have always done things to try and help cave divers. I like to help people. And I always thought, why, would, why should this be a stop when it's so fantastic? Why couldn't this be the destination? And since I started my shop and made it easy for people and with myself working with Chuck Hatcher uh, to make this diver friendly, it's become a destination. And the people that were from, we have a lot of cave diving friends from uh, Mississippi and Louisiana and Texas and uh, Tennessee. This is actually three hours each way off of their trip. So. It saved them money. It's a less populated, more beautiful cave system. And when this was a stop, if you, the people came in when their tanks were full, stopped here, dove, because there was no place to get fills, and then they left. So if they did anything here money-wise to the economy, it was maybe a couple gallons of gas. So now, uh, people are staying in the hotels, they're eating at the restaurants, they're stopping at the convenience stores, they're shopping at Walmart, they're shopping at uh, buying equipment at Cave Adventures, and they're diving here, staying here, and spending money here. So it worked out good for them. Uh, in turn, it worked out in the long run for me. I didn't really plan on having a business, but people, you know, it's the old build it and they will come.